Hello, this is Michael Ivey from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to do part five of creating Over the Rhine with Adobe Flex. And we're going to finish that navigation system. Now let's take a look at the source code real quick. And we have this event handler, this click event handler, and we need to work with that to produce the action script piece of the navigation system. Going back to design, we see we have these these five tabs, home, wiki, blog, community, and reader. And whenever we click one of those, we'll get an index, like a 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we want to use what's called a switch case action script mechanism to go to the particular state, home, wiki, blog, community, and reading. So how do we find out about switch case? Well, let's just click on help. Go to help contents. And let's type in switch case. That's S W I T C H case. And go there. And we'll just click on the first one. And immediately you'll start seeing the if statements, and those are the conditionals. And we used to use those in our younger days, but now as we've become more sophisticated, specifically if you're a game programmer, you're going to use switch case. It's a lot easier to use, and you can do a lot more with it. Um, in this particular example, we see we've got a day number, and if it's zero, you get Sunday, one, Monday, two, Tuesday, and so forth. We're going to just cup. We're just going to copy and paste this code right into our program, and we're going to modify it to do what we want to do with it. So, in a sense, you don't really have to write a line of code. You just copy and paste it and change it to meet your needs. So, we've got that code copied. Let's go right to our program source and let's paste it. Now, in our particular instance, we're not going to use day number anymore. We're going to use event.index. And that'll be the index of the button that we click on. And we only have five buttons, so we're going to use case 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's five cases, so we'll eliminate case 5 and 6. And we want to go to the different states. We take a look here. We've got a home state, a wiki state, a blog state, a community state, and a reading state. So let's take a look at what kind of coding we need to do that with. And it's actually fairly simple. We'll just use current state equals single quote home, single quote. That's all you need. And same thing for wiki, blog, community, and reading. So let's put that code in there. Go back to source. So in case zero, we want to go home. So we go current state equals single quote home single quote semicolon. Now it's very important that you use the exact spelling of your state names. If it's home, capital H O M E, it's got to be a capital H O M E, not a little H O M E. So let's go back. The next state we want to go to is our wiki state. So we'll go current state equals single quote wiki single quote semicolon. Now I'm going to copy and paste that so I have to retype that every time. So just copy and paste that into the next one. And change the wiki to blog. And copy and paste that again. And change that to community. Once again you have to have the exact same spelling as the state name. And finally, reading, copy and paste that. And change that to reading. Very good. And now you have your five navigational states. And so what should happen is when we run this program, when we click on different buttons, we should go to the different states. Let's try that out. Let's hit the Run button. Hit OK. And now the program is building. And what the program is doing is, is Builds. It's turning all these uh, MXML files and extra files into class files. And here's the program build. It's running in Explorer, and we're on the home key. Just hit home. There's our home with our menu and our Yahoo Maps and our podcasting and content system and our wiki. There's our wiki page, our blog page, our community page, and our reading page. And so we can see that 
the navigation system is now working very efficiently. So at this point what we're going to do is start building out these different components and that's what we'll be concentrating on. All right, let me just say this is fairly easy to program like this just to go to the help menus, go to the run start pages, get the code that you need, paste it in and start modifying. Once you learn how to modify code and create what you want, you're just one small step from creating code from scratch. Well thanks a lot, this was Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.